The intention of the Mass today is in memory of John Wapdo by Anita Wapdo. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we begin this celebration, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we ask for God's mercy. You are sent to heal the contrite heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with the untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle, St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to, the, to one hope, and your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in all. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. The gift of Christ gave, the gifts Christ gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of God, of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song, their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We have made you in the world. We will go to some people in the house and praise you. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. And Matthew got up and followed Jesus. And as Jesus sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came 
and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick do. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. The calling of Matthew certainly would have raised more than a few eyebrows because he really did not fit in anywhere. The Pharisees did not like him, nor did the Jewish community because of his practice or the way he collected taxes. So tax collectors are always seen as people on the outside, not very fondly. I don't think much has changed since then. But Matthew's calling was significant. Be somebody that was pretty much on the outside, Jesus sat at a table with him. And in some other parts of the Gospel, Jesus talks about eating with tax collectors and Gentiles. Jesus certainly practiced what he meant, what he said about desiring mercy. Eating with those who were on the outside certainly was an expression of mercy, including Matthew, who was on the outside as one of the twelve chosen, again really expressed a great sense of mercy. And that in itself is a challenge for us. There are people that we'd rather not associate with. <coughs> that does not mean they're bad people, but for whatever reason, we choose not to. And whenever there is somebody that we wish to exclude for whatever reason, we need to keep in mind what Jesus did. He desired mercy, not sacrifice. We now turn to God our Father as we bring our needs before Him. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Canadian Conference of Catholic Bishops, may the Lord guide their discussions and decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Canada, may we choose the next government wisely and in the interest of all Canadians, we pray to the Lord. For all people of faith, may humility and service of others be their way of life. We pray to the Lord. For those who farm their land, may they receive just reward for their service to humanity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who suffer at the hands of others, may peace and justice be theirs. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For those who have died, especially those whose faith is known to God alone, may they find eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God our Father, we thank you for gathering us together as people of faith. Receive the prayers of all your people and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Bless be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless be you, God, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your minds, for the praise of the Lord in for our As we celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions, and with the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Claude, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us to us to Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. The Body of Christ.
Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, grant that we may always be renewed, so that the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but the sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.